Welcome back everyone, Toysius here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look courtesy of my friends over at NECA Toys, and today we are totally checking out their brand new King Kong illustrated figure. This is of course based off of pop culture movie posters back in the day, all the different color elements that would be present for those old timey posters. So that's very cool to see. It is the exact same figure that we saw released last year, but apparently, yeah, he's been to like a Kohli festival in India. Here's everyone that had their hand in making this figure a reality. Here's the barcode as well. And if you're wondering where you can pick this up, starting now, February, Marchish, you should be able to grab him first at Walmart stores. And then after an initial grace period, he will be available elsewhere at different areas where you usually grab your NECA toy. So Walmart first, and then give it like a month, and then you should be able to hop into Target and find him on store shelves too. Give or take. Sometimes it's sooner, sometimes it's later, but in and around that area. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new King Kong Illustrated figure by NECA Toys. And if you haven't already, please do consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. I have old toys, new toys, daily news updates. I guarantee you'll find something here that you like. Now, here's Kong out of the packaging. And as you can see, he is exactly, yes, the exact same figure that was released last year, but with a spiffy, colorful new paint job to him that really pops and brings some fun life to this character. Now... In all honesty, if you have the previous Kong figure, then unless you're a huge diehard King Kong fan, this may not be for you. But for those that are Kong obsessed and looking forward to the new Godzilla vs. Kong and need their Kong fix, yeah, this might be for you. He comes with a pair of open hands as well. And this is where the colors really pop on him. You know, one side being like a muted orange yellow, the other being a green blue with elements of each within each hand and then you get this gorgeously colored recolored i should say kong head going from orange to yellows it's very much like a paint palette splattered combining all different elements but it's done so in a very artistic way kong with the open mouth head portrait is equally as awesome and painted very nicely utilizing the open mouth to really get in there like he's got like the slimy looking tongue too i love when they do that it gives a wetness that really comes out in their alien figures as well but the teeth are great the scars and wounds from the last are still there but they're hidden amongst the paint this time but if you look closely you can see him the one thing i will say is that i really wish the paint really went every which way it's really great in the face the head on the arms and such but lower body in the back is kind of lacking in it i think and in all honesty i think that that would have been really cool just to see more splashes of paint articulation the exact same you get really nice head rotation get that roaring look out of him the arms spin the bicep he's got double jointed elbows on him and with most NECA toys, yeah, you're going to get some stuck joints. Just go easy on it. But everything works. Just go slow. And you should be fine. Don't go throwing this thing around. It's not meant for that. This is a collectible item, right? He has a great ab crunch. You can get him looking all the way up with that down. Getting him in all kinds of the monkey battle positions. He twists up top as well. That was one aspect that I really liked about this figure, is really being able to get some great athletics movement through this guy. The legs are all ratcheted. He has double-jointed knees, and as I previously said, just go easy with him. The feet rock. They'll go up, go up and down, kind of, more so rock, and that really allows you to put him in those positions if he's going to fight Godzilla or any of the other figures on your shelf. Swapping the heads is easy. You just kind of pop it off, put it on, and now you got the more like somber, like, you know, but banana sounds good today, I guess, kind of thing, sort of head. And then if you wanted to swap out the hands as well, those might prove just to be, you know, a little bit more force applied, but the hands do look good. And again, I just think a little bit more paint every which way. I understand they're going for more of that poster look, but more paint elsewhere. And here he is lined up with last year's prior release of this exact King Kong 
And there really is no difference other than the huge splashes of Picasso colors. You can also swap out the heads if you really wanted to have a more muted regular Kong and you can put the colorful head or swap it vice versa. Have the colorful one and maybe he didn't get hit in the face at the Koli Festival was singing. <laughs> the Godzilla as well, the poster art Godzilla, looks great next to him. Really emphasizes the colorful poster nature of it. They don't scale appropriately. There's other Godzilla figures out there, of course. But if you really wanted to match these two up, they look good in the color sense alone. Not really ideal for scaling. And I'm all about Team Kong on this. Let's go, Kong. You got this. Godzilla's got nothing on you. <laughs> we all know how this movie's gonna go. They're gonna team up. And if you wanted to throw some barrels at Mario, yeah, you can definitely do that as well. So that's really gonna wrap it up for my look at the brand new 2021 King Kong Illustrated figure by NECA Toys. And thank you to them for sending this guy out to give you guys the fresh look. Again, look for him starting relatively soon at Walmart stores first, and then subsequently give a little time. You can pick him up elsewhere, wherever you buy your NECAs. But I am curious to know what you guys think about this particular version of King Kong. Do you have the prior, and will you be getting this one? Comment below, let me know, and let's talk everything King Kong Illustrated. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, have fun with your toys, and you'll be great. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios. Mm -hmm.